a very good snow driver. I am a professional snow driver. I learned how to drive in the snow. She learned to drive in the snow while drinking hot coffee. Aren't she radical? Hey, yeah. You're like regular James Bond with driving. Let me tell you, you know, I I had to learn the hard way pretty much with everything in life. <laughs> <laughs> I never took the easy road. Boy, it's a blizzardo, per a blizzardo. Yes, it is a blizzard. You know, this is really a unique project um, that our clients asked us to do, seeing it was their memories that we're putting together. And it's really special that, you know, our clients don't necessarily just think of us as photographers or filmmakers. They really think of us as artists. So when they have any kind of artful project, you know, they'll call upon us. But I'm not quite ready for this, even though it's time. I know. I didn't know if it was ever going to come. Got the snowblower fixed. That was good. Spark plug. Thankfully. So anybody who knows us knows that Jennifer and I are photographers and filmmakers, and we've managed to carve out a niche and make a living for 20 years doing this. And it's been an incredible creative journey. And being an artist really is a journey. And I think a lot of our success is the fact that we don't approach it as we're going to be a cameraman or camera woman, but rather that we want to produce high quality art of our clients' lives. Today in my kitchen, I'm going to share with you a delicious recipe for a cherry nut cake. You heard like the weatherman. You had the same results. I am like a weatherman. Correct. Sometimes. <laughs> Not all. A lot of colleagues, though, will come to me and say, you know, you've won the International Photography Awards, you've done all these celebrity portraits, the wedding of the century, where do you go from here? And I, I always have this blank stare on my face, like, uh, I don't know where you go from here other than, to, other than to continue making incredible stories come to life with the camera. It's what I love to do. Your keys, you got your wallet. <sighs> yep, I got my chapstick. So I'm using chapstick, and you know what that means. You're gonna get chap lips. That's their secret. I think they've got something going on That's here, That's why per. we keep buying them. No, but I do like chapstick. I do too. Went to the New Britain Museum of Art today. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that New Britain, Connecticut has this really great museum with a lot of American painters. What? You ready for this? Uh-huh. Okay, so you know how we have a manufacturer for all of our clothing line? You have a hankering for seafood. I do have a hankering for seafood. And you're making me take you. Where are we going? Are we going to gonna Sam's go, or Bill's? <laughs> we're going to go to Sam's. But my second passion is fine art painting. And I kind of have a, an expressionist style where I paint with bold colors, hard lines, and it's perfectly suited for fashion. And so I started developing a couple of items just for Jennifer to wear, a scarf to start with, leggings after that. So I was happy I finally uh, got that album done. That was a lot of uh, personal hands-on work. Wow, man, that took you a long time to get that finished. Plus the tri all the trips to the art supply store to get all the specialty papers and to yeah. choose everything. The craftsmanship that goes along with all of our products is pretty intense. And something like this is very hands-on. Um, a client of ours wants a book that they can actually sign in. So one page um, is going to be for people's signatures for the birthday party, and the rest of them is just going to be a collection of photographs from this woman's life. We go on to their site this week, and I see that we're not able to make new designs. And I'm thinking, okay, well, they're having a site glitch or whatever, right? And so, yeah, so I call them and Get just it goes to voicemail. I can't get a hold of them. I email them. I don't get they don't get back to me. But I finally got back to me. And okay, so what's the scoop? I mean, we just did all of those promos, and like we have everything ready to go. The study of light is something that is never ending. This looks fantastic. We're gonna put it right in the oven. We've just launched CharlieStyle.com. And it's C-H-A-R-L-E-E, -E, which is kind of a blend of my first name and Jennifer's middle name being Lee. It's a perfect name for the brand. And we're now selling limited edition fine art fashions made for my paintings. They're all made to order, delivered to your door within three weeks.
Hey, Garth. What you doing, Garth? <laughs> Garth Brooks over here. And my mom was a baker, so throughout my home, like, it was always this time of year or during wedding season that I constantly smell the aroma of cakes. So here's the deal. They were expecting a second round of funding and evidently their company is not getting the funding that they need to continue. So they're not taking any more new designs and they can't manufacture what we already have either. I'm not, Awful. I'm not kidding, yeah. I guess it's back to square one. We're gonna have to create new samples with a new manufacturer and, but on the bright side, I didn't launch the site yet. So we're in limbo, kind of, kind of bummed out about it, but at the same token, uh, we will figure this out. It's just a bump in the road. Oh, we're almost there, Per. Is this place even open? <laughs> no way. No way. 